Hi everyone. Welcome to the new episode of Radiology Short Cases. Today we have a 62 year old female with history of chronic cough and fever since last one month and significant weight loss. Let's move to the images. So first the chest radiograph was performed. So on chest radiograph we can see there are multiple nodules of size 2 to 3 mm distributed uh, bilaterally and there is no uh, lobar predominance. And also we can see increased density in the right perihilar region just abutting the right main pulmonary artery and uh, heart and mediastinum are normal and there is no pleural effusion on this radiograph. This was followed by uh, CECT chest. So on CECT chest what we can see this is the mediastinal window. So in mediastinal window this is at the level of aortic arch. We can see some nodes are there which are enlarged with hypodense center and peripheral enhancement suggestive of necrotic lymph nodes. These are in right perihilar and pre uh, sorry right uh, pretracheal and uh, paratracheal distribution. Another image where we can see uh, an, uh, another lymph node which is enlarged in the subcarinal distribution and uh, again we can see increased density uh, in the right perihilar region just abutting the main pulmonary artery. So this was also a right perihilar consolidation. There was no pleural effusion even on CECT chest. So on the lung window we can see multiple nodules of size 2 to 3 mm uniformly distributed and they are random in distribution. Also we can see uh, again that density which is uh, seen in the right perihilar region. Here also we can see in this image. So uh, with all these findings the diagnosis of miliary tuberculosis was kept. So this was a miliary tuberculosis which was confirmed later on by the biochemical uh, investigations. So differential diagnosis in this case is fungal infection, metastasis, silicosis, sarcoidosis and pneumoconiosis. Miliary tuberculosis is hematogenous spread of infection which is commonly seen in immunocompromised patients in random distribution and these nodules are primarily involving the secondary pulmonary nodules. Miliary tuberculosis can present in both uh, primary as well as post primary forms and they are uh, called as miliary because they are of size of millet seeds. Millet seeds are normally 2 to 3 millimeter in size. So from there the name miliary was taken. So that is why this is called as miliary tuberculosis. So now what is the approach if you see multiple nodular pattern in the uh, lung fields how do we go about it. So we see the distribution if the nodules are distributed in central lobular form perilymphatic distribution is there or random distribution is there then the di diagnosis changes. So if we are seeing the nodules in central lobular pattern then the first entity which comes in mind is infectious airway disease or endobronchial spread of tuberculosis or non-tuberculous mycobacteria or bronchopneumonia. Second is hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Respiratory bronchiolitis in smokers also present as central lobular nodules and some ground glass haze. Bronchoalveolar carcinoma can also present with central lobular nodular pattern. In perilymphatic pattern, the nodules are basically distributed along the uh, subpleural uh, regions and along the fissures, along the lympho, uh, lymphatic distribution is there. So in that case, the diagnosis could be sarcoidosis, silicosis, uh, coal workers pneumoconiosis or lymphangiotic carcinomatosis. And in random distribution, the nodules can be seen anywhere along the any distribution. That is why it is named random. So in random distribution, the first diagnosis comes in mind is miliary infection. Uh, like tuberculosis, fungal and metastasis. So metastasis is basically uh, from thyroid carcinoma, renal cell carcinoma, melanoma, choriocarcinoma and breast carcinoma. With this I'll end and thank you.